A viewer named John tweeted a suggestion for a story that I'm sure people who were living around here at the time will never forget. He said, hashtag, hey Dan, how about a story in the vault from 1988 of Mulligetta Syrah? That happened two years before I moved to PDX from the East Coast. It was all over the news at the time, and I was worried about Portland being a skinhead haven. As he mentioned, this was a huge story at the time. John, we were able to find some old KGW coverage of that story in our vault. The crime took place here on Southeast 31st early Sunday morning. Three black men, all from Ethiopia, were sitting in this car talking. When one left to head for his apartment, another car pulled up. Three young white men jumped out and began beating him. The other two Ethiopians never had a chance to stop it. They have some kind of a stick or steel, I don't know. Just immediately they come, just hit and follow him around and kick him. After that, what I, what I try to open the door, just immediately they hit me and I start the car, try to move, and they hit the car, broke everything. There were also two women with the three skinheads, women who stayed in their car, but who shouted encouragement. They never say anything. Just the girls, they're screaming inside, and they say, kill, you know, kill him or beat him, you know. Dead is 27-year-old Mulugeta Sarao. Sarao came to the U.S. seven years ago to attend Portland State University. And now, Sarao's uncle will have to explain to Sarao's parents in Ethiopia how something like this can happen in America. Without provocation, some birds were killed in front of his house uh, with no motive, apparent motive, and no explanation. It just, uh, I don't know what to tell my family. Just, it just, I can't believe this happened, and I don't expect them to believe me when I tell them. Friends and family members of the murder victim gathered in his apartment today. Friends from as far away as Los Angeles. Almost all moved to the States from Ethiopia, believing that such racial incidents were things of the past. And for this to come up now uh, and uh, to continue was uh, a disgrace for the country, uh, nor would it say good about uh, America. Shocked, uh, disbelief, and uh, just outraged something like this would happen, some senseless, uh, heinous crime would happen in front of somebody's house and without any provocation. One of his killers was sentenced to life in prison. He died in 2011. The other two got shorter sentences and are now out of prison. On the 30th anniversary of his murder, the city added Molageta Sarah's name to the top of street signs in the Kearns neighborhood. Lots and lots of history, good and bad, in the KGW vault. Let us know what you want us to try and find for you down there. Use the hashtag HeyDan.